Water Street Studio in Batavia it is all about supporting local artists. And about teaching the community how to make art. WGN's Marcella Raymond has that story. Sparks fly at Water Street Studios in Batavia. There's definitely a lot to hear and even more to see. We have 26 subsidized artist studios. Artists have space to create and showcase their works. The public has a place to buy beautiful, unique pieces. Water Street Studios is a nonprofit that also reaches out to the community to teach them about art. Our main mission, especially post-COVID, right, is to, to make art accessible, art and art education, accessible to the Fox Valley area, and we're hoping to reach even beyond that. You'll find metals, paintings and prints, ceramics, jewelry made out of glass that are truly works of art. Uh, I'm currently working on some flowers, uh, flower petals and that with spring coming up. I'm inspired by nature. Every Saturday from 9 to 2, different vendors come to show off. This I absolutely love by Angie Cornelius. It says, don't buy me flowers, take me to the wildflowers. Water Street Studios also has three new art exhibits every month, from the stunning works of C.J. Hungerman to Peter Legrand, whose photos we can't show on TV. Let's say it's more for the adult crowd. Doug DeWitt also has space this month in the gallery. He's a naturalist and he works with somewhat found objects, but he also draws and paints. Is this abstract, considered yes, abstract? Yes, it's a non-objective or abstract art. Steve Sherrill was an art teacher his whole life. Now he's the director of exhibits and dabbles in teaching. We have everything from children's classes to drawing classes and painting classes and life drawing classes. So come learn how to paint, support your local artists, and get a one-of-a-kind find. In Batavia, Marcella Raymond, WGN News.